You want to know the secret to being a great writer? Observe the world and watch people. In other words, spy on people. Stick around and find out how. Hey, it's Tuesday time for another Prompt My Story video. I'm Marty Chan, a kid's author, storyteller, and playwright. Every week I put out a new video with writing tips to help students become better writers, along with a story prompt to kickstart their creativity. This week I want to talk a little bit about where you find story ideas. That's the number one question I'm often asked right after, am I related to Jackie Chan? Now, where you look for story ideas is in the world around you. You pay attention to everything that happens to you, whether it be at school or at home. In fact, let me show you what I mean with uh, some newspaper clippings. Let's pretend these clippings represent uh, something that happens to you in the class. You know, somebody does a goofy thing, maybe somebody ate too much gum and threw up, or maybe the teacher yelled at a kid that wasn't actually doing anything wrong. And that gives you some ideas for stories. Then maybe you're on the bus, right? Or in your parents' car heading home and you see something happen on the street. Maybe you see the kid who ate too much gum actually picking gum off the street and eating it again because apparently she really likes gum. And that gives you an idea for a story. Or something near and dear to my heart, like uh, right over here. Something happens to you at home and uh, maybe you find out that your brother also likes to eat gum off the street and that gives you an idea for a story where there's some weird disease that's making every kid want to eat gum off the street, right? That can give you an idea for a story. Or if you don't have that, you can always think about research, right? You go read some books, you do some searching on the internet and you find out some cool things that happen that you can then feed into your collection of ideas. Now, when you've got all those ideas put together, what you do is you try to, <clears throat> you try to squeeze or fold or bend them together. And after a certain point, your imagination kicks in and becomes the glue that starts to uh, stick everything together. And what happens is that loose collection of experiences and ideas suddenly dry together and form a story. So always spy on people. Eavesdrop on conversations and you'll have ideas for stories. The only rule is don't get caught spying. All right, so this week's video story prompt is going to spark your imagination. Remember, the rule about writing stories from prompts is there are no rules. All you have to do is let that image be a springboard into your creativity. You can write any genre you want, mystery, action, scary, romance, as long as you're inspired by the image you're about to see. Here we go. And there we have it, this week's story starter. Hopefully it kickstarts your imagination. Let's see what kind of stories you can come up with. That's it for me for this week. If you haven't already subscribed, please do press the subscribe button. It helps me know that there are people who wanna see more videos like this. I hope you enjoy your week of writing and we will see you in the next video.